I realized years ago, we didn't have a great need for online information and lectures. But in this time of the pandemic and the lockdown, subhanAllah, the Kalein Islamic Reminders became the go-to place for everything. And I realized these young people knew what they were talking about. They knew how to edit things. They knew how to present something, how to bring the most inspiring people to speak and to really get the audience. I want to be a part of that. I want to help these young people. Um, you know, Nabi Dawood alayhi salam um, was told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a hadith he could see. Um, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in Bihar al-Anwar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands Nabi Dawood. He says, love me and make me beloved in the eyes of my creation. So Nabi Dawood replies, my Lord, I love you. But how do I make you beloved in the eyes of your creation? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, inform them and get them to recollect my bounties that are with them. For if you do so, they would begin to love me. And I swear to God, alhamdulillah, subhanallah, I'm a witness to this, that these young people are really, really working hard to make this happen. They're informing the people. They are getting the message out there. And so many hearts are being inspired. Um, some of the projects that they're doing, in addition to having lectures and, and short clips that are, you know, particularly inspiring, they're also, you know, they're amplifying the message of Majalis through these bite-sized clips. And they're also creating short animations to present the values of Quran and the Ahlul Bayt al Muslim. That's incredible. Animation is right now the thing to be doing. What are they also doing? They're connecting humanities, uh, humanity with du'as and uh, you know, pr pr uh, providing us with these exact words from the du'as, uh, from the holy imams, and they're presenting them to, to, to all of us in a very palatable way. Also, they're developing apps. They're doing all sorts of amazing things. Please visit their page to find out more. All I can say is, from my heart, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless these youth. And I want to begin with um, donating myself to their cause. I want to be a part of this. I want to encourage them. You know, they had this incredible... Uh, uh, contest that they did in Eid Gadir where they inspired parents to give Eid to their children on the day of Gadir. They said, you know, give your child a gift and tell them this is for the joy of Eid Gadir. And they had a contest of, to, to give a gift to the parents and the children that had the best letter when they gave to their children this Eid. I'm thinking these young people of uh, Thakalain Islamic Reminders, they deserve an Eid from us as well. They deserve uh, a gift, uh, especially as the days of uh, Muharram are beginning, that they can continue to do this. And this money is not for them. This money is for this project that they started eight years ago when they were little boys uh, riding a motorbike uh, and visiting scholars as they would come to their city and begging them to become a part of this. They didn't ask me for money. They asked me for my lectures. Subhanallah. Today, on behalf of them, I'm appealing to all us parents, especially out there who are smiling and thinking, wow, I want that for my children. I want my son and my daughter to do this kind of thing. Well, there are our sons and daughters. And if we can encourage them today by giving them $10, consider it a small gift. Go do your work. Give them $100. Give them more and watch what they do with it. For I have seen it with my own eyes. Uh, when I suggest to them, let's do this, they go with it. And then it comes all packaged and beautiful. They all rise to the occasion. These are our sons and daughters and we need to help them. Uh, I want to remind us of this uh, hadith of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Imam Ali alayhi salam has said that assist God using your heart, your tongue, your limbs. For verily, God the verified has guaranteed assistance to one who assists him. Let's help this cause. Let's help the cause of God and use our 
resources to make this thing happen. There is a beautiful hadith by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is in Bihar Al-Anwar. That on the day of judgment, uh, when uh, we will be shown everything that we've done, the day of reckoning, the accounting, we will see that there will be a lot of good deeds with our name on it. Towering mountains, the prophet describes them as, uh, like vastly accumulated clouds. We will look at them and we'll say, Ya Allah, how can these be my good deeds when you know and I know that I haven't performed them? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reply, the Holy Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is your knowledge that you had taught and conveyed to the people and which was acted upon after you had died. This becomes a thawab jariya This becomes something that we convey to the people through especially videos during this pandemic when we cannot go to the Imam Bargas and we need to save uh, each other. But when we have these kinds of uh, programs for people to tap into, then we've made it easier for people to access knowledge. In the 60 Imam, Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam has said, when a person preaches something and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by means of it instills faith and belief into the heart of another person, then in such a case, he shall forgive all the sins of both of them. The person who preached, the person who helped convey the message, the person who acted upon it. So it's a win-win situation for us. And uh, my duas for everyone right now who is a part of the Kalain Islamic reminders, uh, whether they're behind the scenes, whether they're um, watching and pressing like and just forwarding these videos, or whether they're donors who are actually sending some money, whatever amount it is, uh, to help this cause. The Holy Prophet وسلم, has said, and this is in uh, Mustadrak al Wasail, uh, that uh, the Holy Prophet وسلم, says that, um, Shall I not inform you of a people who are, they're neither prophets nor martyrs? But on the day of judgment, they'll be seated on pulpits of light. And they will have such a status before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that even the prophets and the martyrs will be desirous of their rank. That's incredible. That this will be a special status indeed. They will not be prophets. They will not be shaheed. Yet they will have this incredible position that everyone will be envious and saying, what did these people do? And uh, sure enough, people asked, uh, Ya Rasulullah, who are these, O prophet, o prophet of God? Who are these people who will be on such pulpits of light? They will be covered with nur. He replied, they are those who cause the people to become the beloved of God and cause him to become the beloved of the people. Allahu Akbar. Uh, with our donation today, with our encouragement, send a beautiful message, send a comment, uh, or click and send money just with this click of this finger. Support them, make them feel encouraged, give them some resources so they can do the work that they're doing. And inshallah, we can be a part of the thawab that uh, they will be the ones who helped convey this message and we will be part of that too because in our little way, we did our part. I, uh, I encourage you all to scroll and see the options at the bottom of this video and uh, do whatever you can from your, uh, on your part to make this a um, successful endeavor that we see these young men and women uh, succeed in bringing the message of the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam to all of us. Ilahi ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.